the concept of time is counterintuitive to a process that never ends. Time has a beginning, so does thought. But what comes before thought that gives the framework its space to grow thought is a bit more deserving in this experience. We'll call it a bit because it's information. So is time. Probably, in many ways, that's the only reason you suffer, is because you actually thought that it was limited. But you forgot. Zero says, before that, we knew why. We created that also. We know why. Also, it's not needed when we think from the all-being perspective. Time is no longer available for us because it doesn't exist. So that's prehistory talking to you right now. Before you knew how to record things, you were talking. Before you were talking, it was recorded. Before it was recorded, something happened and uh, there was a big fuck up. That's why we're talking about it now. And the subject is time. The article, the, is no better than the noun. They're cousins, so they, is what you are. Thou is what it has been. As the language evolved. You are the subject of every action, which is what language was and is intended to do. Describe the scene. The scene had that information before we did. I know that's hard to believe, but it's true. Because it's the source of all creation. The Alpha, the Omega. And yes, you are a part of that too. Your piece says, if you listen, you'll let go of these concepts also to make space for something new. Don't expect different results with the same experiment. If your experience says, you want something different because your current level of expression is lacking some information that helps you flow through this life a bit more fluid. Here's another one. You don't think about breathing. A lot of the uh, so-called descriptions of what we do do not need to be described because there are a large number of variables to explain why it happens. But that's after it happened, which is why you needed language. So language hurts us also because it is derivative of time. When we sit around to discuss what happened, that's what you've done. When you sit without those words, however, you will acquire a state of being that is happy to reconnect to the source and to be with it like that also, as it was. It ever shall be. The only way to do that is to understand the idea is not you. You made the idea. Then you were abused with that very idea by the experience to help you learn why time is necessary. You give it value. When you're done giving it value, it's because 
you have found your worth with it now, the experience. And the experience says, you're done. You no longer need time to discuss this. Though time is logically almost impossible to get away from here, from our very limited logic, logically, there are very beautiful minds who see that we are really truly and always have been time less. I just explained it. In the beginning, there is no end. In the ending, there was no beginning. That is what it's like to be immortal, to never die, to be aware of it, not cry about it, and move on. Which is what everyone, everything, even the planet, all existence, the stars, all of creation, that's how they find it. At peace, at rest, because it's done. So the one has spoken.